How to set up and customize Google Assistant. While Google Assistant made its official debut with Allo, it wasn't until the release of the Pixel that we've seen more of what Google has in store for their personal AI assistant. Now, Google Assistant has rolled out to all Android phones running on Marshmallow or later. There are so many ways to use the assistant throughout the day. From getting a daily briefing first thing in the morning to conveniently setting an alarm for the next day and nearly everything in between. To get the most out of Google Assistant, you'll want to know about all the settings and features. And we're here to help. Google Assistant is baked right into any phone running Marshmallow and above. And can be accessed by long pressing the home button or by saying, OK Google, if you've got voice activation enabled. If you're logged into your Google account, but have yet to set up Google Assistant. You can start the process by launching it from the home screen for the first time. And that's that. You might also be prompted to configure voice activation, which just involves you repeating OK Google three times. Pretty simple. If you have more than one Google account active on your phone, it's important to make sure Google Assistant is connected with the one you want. Google Assistant is able to pull details from Gmail, Google Photos, and other Google services including your calendar events as well as your Chrome browsing habits. So you'll want to make sure you're using your primary account. If you accidentally set things up with the wrong account or simply want to switch over to a different account, it's really easy. Press the compass icon in the top right corner of the Google Assistant window to open the Explore window. Switching between accounts is easy to do, though you'll need to go through the quick setup process and allow the required access permissions. You can use Google Assistant to give you a briefing on everything you need to know to start your day. From weather forecasts, calendar reminders, and a preview of your work commute. If you don't need all that, you can customize it to suit your needs. You can also toggle weather to end your summary with narrated news reports, music playlists, radio stations, audiobooks, podcasts or no audio at all. Google Assistant can help you keep up to date on what's going on in the world with its narrated news service. It pulls radio news reports from reliable news sources which you can listen to after your daily briefing or by saying, OK Google. Listen to news. If this seems like a valuable feature to you, you'll definitely want to customize your news sources. Google Assistant will call you by your first name by default, but you can teach it to call you any nickname you want. If you don't like how the Google Assistant is pronouncing your nickname, you can opt to spell it out phonetically by tapping that spell it out radio button under pronunciation. Or you can record yourself saying your name. By default, Google Assistant will censor all offensive words. If you're alright with salty language, you can turn it off quick and easy. Google Assistant will never swear. But now words deemed as offensive won't be censored in the transcriptions of what you say. Your Google Assistant will keep track of not only all your search activity, but also where you were when you made your request. Google assures this data is kept secure and private. If you'd like to review your activity history and see the details, you can access it straight from the Google Assistant settings. Chrome will launch and you'll be taken to Google's log of all your logged activity with Google Assistant. From there, you can tap details to see more information, including roughly where you were when the activity occurred. If this sort of creeps you out, you can tap activity controls to toggle some of the settings. But this is basically what you signed up for to use Google Assistant. Google Assistant now comes with eight voice options, and they're easy to switch between. The feature works on your phone and home. And it's a great way to add some diversity to your assistant experience. Samsung's new bean-shaped Galaxy Buds live wireless earbuds have scored 8 tenths on Ifixit's repairability scale. Thanks to an easy opening procedure and easily replaceable batteries. There are so many great Android phones to buy. So it can be tough to know which one to buy. These are the best of the best at each price point. The Pixel 4a is coming on August 20th. And we're rounding up all the reasons to be excited about this incredible budget handset. The Google Assistant is the most useful smart voice assistant for getting your questions answered and keeping track of your digital life. But it's also great at helping you control your smart home devices and services. No spam. We promise. You can unsubscribe at any time and we'll never share your details without your permission. Text source, androidcentral.com.